I would absolutely love if you would subscribe to this channel. So click the little subscribe button and you will be notified of all of the rankings interviews, recaps, and previews. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephen Huzar, and I am an actor in the new show called Jane Mysteries, Inheritance Lost, and you're watching Hallmark Happenings. Where is that from? That's an interesting last name. Uh, it's Hungarian, actually. Yeah, very old Hungarian name. Huzar actually means horseman in Hungarian. I did a family tree, I think, in elementary school, and uh, it dates back about 900 years or so. <laughs> so pretty old name. And we defended, uh, the Hazars were sort of cavalry men, horsemen, um, sort of defending the Hungarian nation um, from any intruders. And we'd be in packs of eight or nine, kind of like the Spartans, but on horseback. So you can imagine that. Wow, that's so cool. You really have done your research on that. Have you had a chance to visit that country? I have actually, yeah. I've been there uh, a couple times. I uh, just was there last summer visiting my relatives. I have I have some uncles, nephews there, and some aunts there as well. And then the rest of my family. My immediate family is in Canada, but the rest are in, in Hungary. Oh, fascinating. That's so cool to get to visit like your ancestral lands. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah, I'd love to do that. It's nice to just to see where we all come from, and at least our blood anyways. That's true. I imagine there are some um, beautiful castles in that country as well. There are. Yeah. Some amazing old architecture. Budapest itself, the city has come a long way in the last 10, 20 years as well. So it's, it's a really fascinating city to visit. I spent a couple of weeks there last summer. It was quite beautiful and I uh, hope to go back sometime soon. Yeah, for sure. I'm definitely going to watch some travel videos um, on Budapest now. Oh, that's so cool. I, that's how I travel. It's the free way to travel. You watch YouTube. Um, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do what you have to do and you go on Pinterest and just discover a whole world without leaving the comfort of your home. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I do like to get out of the home though and travel. So uh, yeah, whenever I can, I'm, on, I'm, I'm flying away somewhere new and uh, just seeing the world. We live in such a great place. So might as well see it while we're still here, you know? That's so true. I've never traveled, so I'm so envious of everyone who has. Oh, okay. Well, it's time. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. I have a long, long list. Um, but anyway, we're not here to talk about travel, although it's such a fun topic. Um, you obviously have done quite a few Hallmark movies, but Jane Mysteries is your latest. Um, this is your first like in the mystery genre. Is that correct? Um, actually, I had done um, a, a few other ones. I think the first one I ever did was, was a long time ago called the uh, uh, Aurora Tea Garden. It was Aurora Tea Garden series, and uh, it was called A Bone to Pick with uh, Cameron Cameron Bure. I actually played a priest in that uh, that movie. So that was, I think, that was the first ever mystery show I did. I believe. Actually, no. Come to think of it. The there was another one. Anyways, I've done I've done a few but smaller roles. Um, but um, and then I had uh, Ruby Herring Mysteries was also a Hallmark series we did with Taylor Quinn and Cole. So I played a detective in that as well. So I've done a little bit, but this is the first time doing it with a show with Jody Sweeten, and it was absolutely amazing to to act with her. She's phenomenal. We had such a great time. Well, I'm slapping myself on the wrist for not looking at your IMDb <laughs> beforehand. I just okay. like I read the, I the bio. And I was like, oh, so I don't see any others listed. So there's that. Um, next yeah. time I will be looking at people's IMDb beforehand. So I don't sound like a doofus. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's okay. That's totally okay. But yeah, uh, so it's funny you worked with Candace and then now you're working with Jody, of course, like Full House, which um, was such a big fun show. Did you ever watch it? I, I just watched a bit of it um, back in the day. Yeah, I remember actually auditioning for Fuller House, which was funny. I mentioned that to her <laughs> and uh, she's like right away is like, oh, yeah, you would have been good for this role. And you know how it is. But now we're actually working on something together. So full circle, I guess. Yes, that's so interesting. Your paths crossed and definitely in a big way with this. Do you want to like tell everyone what exactly this film is about? Uh, sure. Uh, I can't tell you too much because it hasn't aired yet. It's obviously a mystery movie. It's centered around Jody's character, Jane, who um, is not a detective or anything like that. She's a performer. She's a singer. We learned earlier on in the movie that her uncle had passed away and left her an inheritance. Part of the deal with this inheritance was to continue his uh, organization. The goal of the organization was to help people whose cases were sort of left un unresolved by the police. 
and the authorities. And so she's sort of thrown into this uh, adventure of, of um, taking over this organization and working with me because my character had helped her uncle with with solving these cases as I'm an actual detective. So now we kind of team up and she takes over her uncle's position to to help solve these cases. So it's uh it's pretty fun. I mean it's it's interesting because of course Jody's a performer. She's a great singer as well. Um and there's a lot of a lot of great music. The the entire film has a very nice feel to it and it's uh, very artistic. So uh, we had a lot of fun shooting. I could kind of tell that even from like the trailer like the 30 second preview um yeah. it did feel a little artistic like you're saying and of course she sings in this do you yeah. sing yourself <laughs> <laughs> I do not sing um I sing in the shower but not in the movie spoiler alert I play the drums in the movie a little bit I, I had to learn a little bit I played I'm not a drummer per se but I have played a little bit in the past and so it encouraged me to get back into it and uh and learn learn again and so I really enjoyed that actually I have I have some friends that are phenomenal drummers uh incredible jazz musicians and rock drummers so I had a really good team to uh friends to learn from uh, beforehand so that was lots of fun yeah to get back into it you have to have really good rhythm to be a drummer like yeah just be on beat so well <laughs> yeah and get out of your head just like a lot of things in the world you know I mean art artistry is just trying to get out of your head and not think about stuff too much and just feel so once you sort of get past that it's it's a lot of fun yeah just for like fun, since we're on like the topic of music, do you have like a favorite uh, singer or band? A singer or band, a favorite one. Oh gosh, I listen to so much. I mean, in terms of uh, jazz, which I, I grew up a lot in jazz, uh, Dave Brubeck is one of my favorite jazz bands. Um, Take Five, one of the famous sort of uh, songs they played. So I was inspired a lot of, with that kind of rhythm and specifically that song while uh, doing my research on the show recently was like december or november you like played like a bodyguard um in a movie but now you're a detective which obviously you had yeah. uh played before but was that something you were really excited to like dive into like the serious like discover what's going on kind of role <laughs> yeah yeah it was great yeah the bodyguard was, was was lots of fun um and uh yeah that was shot just before christmas i believe yeah and uh kind of getting more into the detective side of things too i i mean for me it's just lots of fun to to play any role really but uh since i had some experience playing detective it was nice to to get back into it i hadn't done it for quite a few years so it was nice yes are you a fan of like the mystery kind of suspense thriller genre i am yeah i love mysteries actually and i love thrillers uh psychological thrillers and specifically like christopher nolan kind of films uh, i guess the more of that more thriller kind of psychological films sort of genre uh, I, I'm, I'm more a fan of uh, for sure but yeah a good mystery i mean it's it's great to keep people guessing to the end you know so i hope we hope people appreciate what we did and we did a good job <laughs> i'm sure you both did an amazing job and obviously everyone involved with the film um i guess like talking about working with jody specifically so when you were offered this and you saw she was gonna be attached were you like kind of i mean she's a big deal she's been doing this forever were you excited yeah 100 percent. you know i asked some of my friends that the new jody and sort of got a little bit of background on her and and everyone just spoke so highly of her and of course when i met her i was not disappointed and we had a great time shooting. Uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to seeing how it's received. And this is based on a book series, of course, as well, um, which I had the opportunity to read before, which I really, really loved. So that that got me quite excited about the project. And, uh, you know, of course, working with someone like Jody, I knew it was going to be lots of fun. So we were both uh, very excited to work with each other and um, really excited to see how the audience is going to um, <laughs> respond to it. <laughs> Oh, for sure. You know, when these specifically like the mysteries are based on book series, it seems like they tend to go on for more than one movie and become like a franchise. Do you know, have you heard anything about that with this? We'll see what happens. Yeah, I guess it all depends on uh, on what the audience says. There is uh, certainly there's an opportunity to to shoot some more because it is a, a series and and the mysteries continue, and as our you know as their dynamic continues as well. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I can't say yes or no at this point, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Fingers crossed. You can never have too yeah. many uh, mystery series. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With maybe Jody specifically, or like 
anybody in the film, is there like a favorite moment you had from filming or like a scene that you're excited to see play out on the screen? Right. Yeah. Well, it was, it's funny. We were mentioning the singing and the, and the drumming. She's, uh, she's got some beautiful scenes of her on the stage singing, which I can't wait to watch sort of on a, on a, a bigger screen. And I also was on the stage drumming and we have this funny interaction because she didn't know I was um, a performer as well. So uh, I think that'll be kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's just, uh, there's other fun scenes, I guess we've shot. We've had, we've had a few fun, funny moments. Like I, I'm looking forward to seeing what plays out, but um, yeah, specifically, I think the, the performance shots look, uh, I remember uh, seeing it from, of course, behind the camera when I was looking at her coverage looked really really great so i'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out yeah there's not like too many of these um maver tv movies that feature like performances because i'm sure they're a little yeah. bit more intricate to kind of like coordinate but that uh, will be fun to watch yeah exactly i mean it's all about entertainment in the end so if people uh you know they want they like the story but if there's also singing and performing you know that just adds to the entertainment value and hopefully people are uh enjoy that as well okay so like can you tell me anything more specifically about like your character? Like it's something like unique about him. That's maybe some, something that you haven't like played before. If, does that make sense? Did I make sense as I spoke? <laughs> um, you made sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> there's always, uh, there's always something new and unique in characters I play, of course, because they're all different. Unless of course you continue a series and then you're just building on that same character. He's a bit of a tough nut to crack. He doesn't really, uh, he's a bit untrustful um, in the beginning and doesn't really, uh, he, he has a bit of chip on his shoulder, doesn't really feel that uh, Jody's character can handle this um, responsibility so much. Uh, so that was kind of fun to play, but eventually starts warming up a little bit. So uh, I guess we'll see how that, how that plays out and, and when she, uh, when she sort of earns my trust. So that's always fun to play. Yes, he breaks out of his shell and he's just a softy uh, down deep. <laughs> down deep, yeah. He's a he's a softy, as all detectives probably are deep down, or everyone is, I guess. <laughs> that's true. Um, some people deeper down than others, but that's yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah, sometimes you got to dig a little further. That's true. <laughs> I was looking like at the promo photos um, and everything, and you're wearing a very vibrant shirt in one of the photos. Do you mm -hmm. know which photo I'm talking about? It's like I don't know, some colorful like button up. <laughs> Yeah, the 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 yeah the um, clothing was was we uh, Jody and I were saying how how excited we were about it because uh, it's 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 different than a typical procedural you know uh, mystery show I think I mean it, it was certainly we, they had more artistic sort of flair to it and we were both really excited about it so yeah I, I, most of my clothing actually was pretty uh, was different yeah um, and hers was was great. Um, she was, uh, she had the uh, opportunity to dress up as, or to, to sort of conceal herself as different characters, part of her investigation techniques, so to speak. So that was lots of fun for her. She had a lot of different changes. Yeah. I think it was just more of a relaxed kind of fun, kind of fun feel to the, the whole wardrobe for the show. Okay. So detectives in disguise, were there fake mustaches involved? <laughs> Uh, well, I wasn't in disguise, but she was in disguise. Oh, so okay. not a mustache for her, but wigs and other things like that. <laughs> <laughs> mustache might have been a good idea, though. Maybe we can, uh, we'll talk about that for the next one. If we go. <laughs> hey, there you go. You could, you know, those glasses that have yeah, like, yeah, the, the mustache. The glasses. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there's an idea for future movies. Uh, if they do come out, which I have no doubt that something will spark from this and you'll probably be playing this character for years to come. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. Well, that's, 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 that's a good omen if it comes from you. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, I guess I would love to talk about uh, before we start wrapping up. Um, how did you start working with Hallmark Channel? I guess, I mean, you've been obviously acting for years and years. But how did you start working with this network specifically? I think the first one was, as I mentioned earlier, uh, was the uh, Aurora Tea Garden show i believe uh, a bone to pick i think that was my first yeah i think that was my first role of them i could be wrong sorry but if i am but uh, i believe that was it so that was gosh that was back in um uh, i think 2015 or 2016 so it was quite some time ago i did a few others some holiday movies and then the uh ruby herring sort of wheel of movies and then and then most recently doing uh, quite a bit as well. So they're a great network to work with and uh, very happy to uh, to be employed by them and uh, 
you know, I guess they, they like my work and uh, I enjoy the characters they're offering me. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been, it's been a great ride. Yeah. They obviously like you, they keep asking for you to come back. So um, that's yeah. awesome. Always a good sign. Um, And like rewinding even further, what inspired you to become an actor? <laughs> Ooh, what inspired me to become an actor? Uh, let's see. Well, I think uh, my first acting gig was uh, was in grade two when I played Old McDonald in Old McDonald Had a Farm, my school uh, school play. <laughs> I think that was the first time I got a little bit of a you know a bit of taste of it, and I remember just really just really having fun up there on the stage and being able to play a farmer and you know and uh, make believe and telling a story and singing and dancing and all that kind of stuff. So that's probably my first, my first moment. And then I, I do recall the whole star Wars thing really got me excited about ah, film and television. I uh, remember asking my dad, I was like, is that, uh, can I become a Jedi dad? I mean, how do I do that? He's like, well, I mean, actually, you know, there's, there, he's playing a character as a Jedi. So you could, you could become a Jedi or you could, you know, you could act as a Jedi and you could be all these other things the same uh, as if you want to. And that, I think that really got my my mind going a little bit on that. So those are my first two really um, young sort of um, memories of me wanting to wanting to begin, become an actor and sort of like planting the seed in me, I think. Interesting how like a particular maybe movie can spark that. We will finish up with rapid fire questions. Okay, sure. Let's do it. Okay. What is the last show you binge watched? Last show I've been watched is Yellowstone. Yeah, it's 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 great. I'm uh, I'm I'm actually literally binge binge watching it right now. I'm pretty excited about it. So, oh yeah, I'm gonna slow down the rapid fire. Did you watch 1883? I did not. <sighs> like but I will now because I've heard that a couple times. That's the third time. Third time I'll I'll act on something. It's so good, and it's what like eight episodes. It's not or ten episodes. It's not that long. Yeah, You've yeah. got to watch it's, it. All right, I know I'm slowing down your rapid fire questions. Sorry. <laughs> No, I get I'm slowing it nervous as well. Nervous rapid fires anyway, so this is my way of slowing things down. <laughs> it's like a slow you. burn question session. Yeah, <laughs> I like the sound of that better. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what is your go-to coffee drink? Um, I actually like a matcha latte with oat milk. So not quite coffee, tea, but has the same effect. Okay, probably healthier. <laughs> Maybe a little. Depends on if you put a bunch of sugar in it, but anyway, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I'm a sorbet kind of guy and I, I love mango sorbet. Okay, cool choice. Makes you feel like you're in the tropics somewhere where we all want to be, so. Oh, for sure. Who doesn't? And then finally, where is somewhere you'd like to visit that you have not yet traveled to? Oh, uh, just speaking to someone about this, I would love to go to Egypt. I was very close last summer, literally an hour away, but I missed it. Uh, but I'd like to go. That would be mesmerizing. Can you imagine this history? That's, I hope you get to go. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think it's going to happen soon. Well, hopefully that'd be so fun. Thank you so much for your time today, Stephen. I appreciate it. Oh, great. Thank you for your time. Bye. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Ciao. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you love all things Up TV, Hallmark Channel, GAC Family, basically all of your made for TV movie channels. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the previews, the recaps, or the interviews. Until next time, thank you so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings. Have a great day.